Hello and welcome to my world. This is Bare Hands, and I am bringing you a Clash Royale video highlighting the Three Musketeers. Uh, this is a high risk, high reward card, and if you play it right, it can be a ton of fun. If you play it wrong, you will be mercilessly destroyed. Really, the general rule with using the Three Musketeers stays the same, and so there are two times in which you play the Three Musketeers either a conservative split play, uh, which you can do not really knowing all the cards in your opponent's deck. And then there is the all-in, and I only do this play, typically, when I know what my opponent has and when they've overextended. You can play the three musketeers in the back, either here or here. Either one will cause them to split to different ways. This split can also be done in front of the tower, okay? So if you don't have the three musketeers to play in the back, here or here, and you play your giant there instead, you could play a little catch up and throw the three musketeers in front of your king's tower, splitting them as well. If they throw down their fire ball or their poison and you know they don't have anything else uh, in their hand, you can do something like this. Throw down all the Musketeers on one side. In this game against Schlumpy, we play pretty much conservative plays throughout the entire game. And so in the beginning of the game, I am going to build up with some Elixir. This is also interesting because he has the Inferno Tower to counter my Giant. But he's going to throw a push down on the right side, and he's he's building up quite a bit. So I'm going to do a conservative split, but put two Musketeers on the right side to deal with that level 12 Royal Giant. Okay, and they're going to do a ton of damage. The Royal Giant still does massive amounts of damage to my right tower. But I've got a Musketeer that isn't dealt with on the left side. So we're talking almost a thousand damage on that one side. And then, uh, we actually have the giant walk up to the tower, tanking for the two musketeers, and they're gonna do quite a bit of damage on that side as well. And so, he, we countered his push, not very efficiently, as he got a lot of damage off, but then we did a, a lot more damage back to him. Uh, and so, a lot of times I like to put my tank in front of the, the three musketeer that is by herself. Okay, so you split the three musketeers, two of them go to the right, one of them go to the left, or vice versa. Put your giant, uh, or your knight, whatever you're using, and put it in front of that musketeer that's by themselves. Look, he's going to counter my two musketeers with a poison spell. Then I'm going to throw my tank in front of the one on the left, and now he has a pretty formidable push to have to defend here, and being able to zap away the Inferno Tower and have a full health musketeer and giant running toward that tower is going to be devastating for him. And so he did a good job in countering the two musketeers, but then we were able to back up the one. And so we're getting really, really positive elixir trades with our three musketeers here. We're going to go ahead and split them again. And you'll notice I have, I have not thrown the three musketeers down to clump up and go all in one direction at all. That just should not happen unless he plays that poison spell. Uh, that I know is his counter to the Three Musketeers before I put them down, okay? So in this instance, we just take out the one tower. Now that he doesn't have a tower, we could place the Three Musketeers in the middle of his base, which is incredible. Uh, even if he puts the Poison Spell down at that point, he's going to take massive amounts of damage. And so he throws the Poison Spell down to get my tower, and my Three Musketeers are going to eat through his right tower. At this time, I, I pretty much know there's no way he can tie it up with this amount of time left. So I'm just going to ignore his Royal Giant and push for the three crown win. Which we will get. Then, in the off chance your opponent plays his hand, like DJO here, we're going to throw down our princess. Kind of a passive start, let them do something. And notice this. This guy doesn't like princesses. He's going to fireball my princess, which is, consequently, the counter to my three musketeers. 
So we're going to put our giant down to start up a slow push in the back. And we're going to back it up. I'm, I'm really just trying to get to my Elixir Collector because I don't want to go too offensive. I'd like to kind of feel out what cards he has in his deck. So I'm going to throw down the Mini P.E.K.K.A. This isn't the greatest response to a Tombstone. Pretty slow units. But watch this Money Zap here. Six units. That's a Money Zap right there. Now I have to counter this stuff. Uh, he does good placement on his Miner. Uh, but I was able to counter them with my Guards. Only issue is his Musketeer ends up doing some serious damage on my tower, but notice again, he threw down his Fireball on my Princess. So at this point, I'm thinking to myself, I can bait his Fireball with my Princess, and then I could play my three Musketeers without consequence after he's Fireball. Okay, so keep that in mind. Just be aware of what your opponent's counters are to your cards. So here we go. He throws down another tombstone. We're going to build up the push. And this guy doesn't know we have three musketeers yet. I am aware that he has fireball. He's played enough cards at this time that I am i wouldn't want to play my three musketeers all together. So I'm going to throw my princess down again to try and bait out the fireball. And let's see what happens here. Uh, we've got a princess run in there. He's going to throw down a counter to my push here. So instead of playing my three musketeers like I wanted to, I was expecting him to throw the fireball. I'm going to go ahead and do a conservative three musketeer play here and split them. Oh, here comes the fireball. He's played the fireball. I'm going all in. So I dropped the three musketeers on that side. It's going to decimate that ice wizard. It's going to take out that mini P.E.K.K.A. Unfortunately, it got that shot off. But if they lock on, they're going to do massive amounts of damage. They take out the Ice Wizard he puts down. Uh, they take out his Three Musketeer that he played. They brought his tower down to 1,000. At this point, I'm sitting pretty. Now I know I could freak him out with my Princess. I could split the Three Musketeers. You could pretty much bet that they're going to counter the Two Musketeers, and so I could back it up just like we did in the previous game. And so we're just going to try and fend off this, this push that he's formulating gonna end up taking out my princess which was smart he didn't fireball the princess since I showed the three musketeers then we're going to split them conservative play in front of the king tower so that they're not too far behind that giant we're in overtime now everything counts he fireballs the musketeers on the right as expected we're gonna continue the push on the left and it's just too much to handle. He, you spend four elixir to counter something, and then to still have a push going on the other side is a big deal. And musketeers are powerful if you can't take them out. We're gonna jump into a battle here. See who we find. Sumadi. All right, let's go ahead and try and shut this down a little bit here. Oh, that zap was not that good. Okay. All right, are we still here? Are we still here? I'm gonna split. One Musketeer over to the right there to deal with that Valkyrie. Let's go ahead and throw an Ice Spirit down, a mini packet to counter the Hog that's gonna be coming in. You'll notice that Musketeer is going to do tons of work. Pretty good counter there. I'm gonna zap this away. Oh, not zap it away. That was a really good counter on his part. Throw the Ice Spirit down. Super distracted. I really hope that cat didn't mess up my recording. Building up elixir. I'm getting a I'm getting a really good elixir advantage here. Those minions are gonna catch up to the Valkyrie and end up getting frozen, which is really nice. And you'll notice he hasn't played his poison spell again. Which is interesting, right? Let's go ahead and throw our giant down. Let's go ahead and throw our mini P.E.K.K.A. down. Let's get our zap ready for that Inferno Tower. Oh, man, I really wish that had worked. Actually getting some pretty good worth here. Even though I didn't do damage to his tower, I was able to tank out his troops so he couldn't formulate a counter push. And now we're just kind of... We just kind of need to counter the stuff that he has going on here. I'm going to split the three musketeers. He gets a good poison off there, so let's back up the one on the... Ooh! They split kind of funky there. 
I'm gonna go ahead and throw my princess down on this side as well. Very good Valkyrie on his part. But you'll notice that Giant is not getting very much attention, and so we managed to just... Okay, here's what we're gonna do. He threw down his poison spell. What that tells me is he has no defense for the three musketeers coming. So let's go ahead and drop the giant in. We know the inferno tower's coming. Let's throw that ice spirit in. And the inferno tower is not going to come down. So we have pretty much free reign here on his tower. My giant's beating away. And if I could help it, I didn't want that hog to get to the tower, but it didn't matter. We ran out of time and I had a full health mini pack on his tower. See if I can't not get distracted this game. Okay, Kaishi, Kaishi, what do you do against El Princess? <laughs> Throw the princess down in the back. Let's see. Wow, this is a level 11 player. He's going to throw a mini P.E.K.K.A. or uh, a mini P.E.K.K.A. What am I thinking? He's going to throw Sparky down. Let's go ahead and split the three musketeers. And then I want to throw guards down in front of this bad boy. There we go. All right. That was an interesting turn of events there. He got uh, a little bit more damage on me, but now we're prepared. We know what he's got. He's got a Sparky, which really don't want to get smashed by a Sparky, but it happens. You guys can watch it live here on YouTube. It's not live. Let's go ahead and throw down a giant. I really hope he throws down a Sparky right now on the right side. If he's smart, he'll do it on the left side to counter my giant. Let's go ahead and split the three musketeers. Throw down the ice spirit. Let's see if we can't zap this Sparky. Wow, this guy is mirroring Sparky. Interesting, okay. Let's get our princess down. Look at how long that free spell lasted. That is extraordinary. Guards, answer the Sparky. Dealing good damage with the Musketeer over on the left. Let's see if we can't get that attention. Oh, couldn't get the attention. Go, Mini Pekka. All right, that is a really interesting push we've got going here. I'm going to go ahead and split three Musketeers. I do not think I could stop this. Let's go ahead and throw guards down. Oh, oh, my zap was late. Okay, guys, we're in trouble. We're about to run out of time. He's got level three Sparky's coming at me. And I don't think I can do anything to them. Wow. Obliterated my right tower. Well, guys, I got one of those towers. Oh, that hurts. You see that level six witch? Yikes. Whew. You guys want to see a mirror actually do work? Watch that battle. All right, you guys get the idea, though. I didn't win that last match, but you can't win them all. Thanks for coming by. Uh, please subscribe, like, comment. Give me some advice down there. Uh, I'd be happy to take some constructive criticism or just criticism, whatever you want. But thank you so much for spending a little portion of your time checking out my video, and I'll see you next time for more Gaming with Bare Hands.